Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'm going to try and turn these eastern white cedars into a showable forest. My eastern white cedar forest here started out as a collected clump. So the main tree in the forest here has five trunks coming off of the main trunk or low branches that have turned into trunks. And then surrounding the main tree there, I planted all these seedlings and these were all grown from a seed and they're from my hedge over there. They just fell into bonsai pots and started growing so I developed them and then planted it as a forest. And I really like this forest because it's like a hidden forest. If you step back it just looks like a group of trees. You can't see the main tree very well. So you have to kind of come in and explore around to see all the features of the tree. And the tree is looking really ancient. It's a nice contrast, the old tree in the middle here with the younger tree surrounding it. And I really like it for that, that it's not, you can't really explore the forest at first glance. You've got to go in and see all the details. It's uh, yeah, it's like a hidden forest or a hidden gem in the middle of the forest. My cedars are in a mica pot, so I can't show a tree in a mica pot. It's just, I mean, you can, but if you can get a clay pot, it's much better. So I do have a clay pot over here. Let's go have a look at it. So over here, I've got this large oval clay pot. It's very shallow, but I think, I think it'll be quite suitable. I think the color is right on the pot. It's a sort of a reddish brown and it matches the trunk color really, really nicely. So you have the pot color, the green moss and the trunk color. So I think it's, and then the green foliage. So I think it'll look really, really good in this pot. This pot is just a little bigger. It, it's definitely a bit longer, but not by a whole lot. And it's also wider. This mica pot is a very narrow oval. This one's a bit wider. So I'll have a lot of landscape room around this pot. And, you know, it's possible I could plant even more seedlings if I have any uh, along the edges to create even more contrast. So we have the old tree, the young seedlings, and then even younger ones at the edges. It's a possibility. So it isn't repotting season right now. Uh, so if I do put this in this pot, which I will do, uh, I'm just going to slip pot it. So I'm going to pull the trees out of the pot, not do any root work, not disturb the roots, just put it in the new pot, surround it with new bonsai soil, and that'll be it. And then, you know, next time I go to repot this in spring, I can do a more detailed, you know, root pruning. I probably will never separate these trees again. Um, all these seedlings have kind of established themselves and I, I wouldn't want to pull this all apart. I think just on its own, it'll get a nice mat of roots on the surface of the soil in here. All right, well, that's the plan. Uh, I've also have to trim the trees up. So you can see some of these younger trees are growing up into the branches of the older one here. So I've got to prune those back. Try and get kind of a pleasing profile to the overall forest. Uh, I also, in the main tree, can make it a little more compact. And this, you know, if I want to put it in a fall show, this is the time to do it. It's kind of the last middle of summer, so it's the last time you can do kind of major pruning. Then the tree will grow in over the last half of summer, and then by fall, it should look really, really nice for a show. That's the plan anyway, so let's begin. My first step will be to get this new pot all cleaned up. I'll start with some soap and water on the pot. Just get some dirt off it, clean it up. I'll give it a scrub down. Bottom's quite dirty too. This was a used pot. I bought it, uh, might have been from Chris Hendry's place. I think it was. 
But if I do put this in a show, I'll make sure the pot is all, you know, cleaned up for the show. For today, I just want to get it kind of clean. There is a maker's stamp on the pot here. Um, yeah, I think it's Chinese writing on it. All right, I'll give that a, a rinse with rainwater. And I think that'll do it. I think the pot is quite clean. And like I said, before a show, I'll give it a good clean, oil the pot up, make it look really, really nice. I'll add some drainage screens to the pot, and then I'll have to pull the forest out of the old pot. I'm not sure how easy that'll be. Hopefully the root base will come out intact. I can just transfer it over. Fingers crossed. All right, my drainage screens are in. Next, let's get the forest out of the pot. All right, here I go. This will uh, either go really well or it won't. One of the two. Okay, let's, uh, I'll grab the main tree by the trunk here. Give it a wiggle. Give it a pull. Mm-hmm. It's coming out. There we go. Well, that went quite well. So, yeah, I'll compare the two pots uh, now that I've got the tree out. So let's have a look at the differences. Here is a look at the two pots. So the mica pot I got from Hong, and this one's from Chris Hendry. It looks like it was $70 as a price and marker on it. So there's the differences in size. You can see the length isn't too different, but the new clay pot is quite a bit wider. So I think the trees will be, look really comfortable in the new pot. Let's have a look at the underside of the root base here. So I'll tilt the tree up. Oh my goodness, look at all these fresh, healthy roots in here. Just amazing. So I don't want to disturb them. I'm just going to slip pot it into the new pot now. All right, here I go. I'm going to place the tree a little bit off to the left-hand side. I think that'll look quite nice. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. So here I go with the new tree, new pot. So maybe to there. I'm going to bring it back just a little bit. Here is a look at the forest from the distance. It's still sitting quite high. This new pot is very, very shallow. So I think, you know, for now, the moss is quite thick on top. I can reduce that. I can do a little surface raking of some of the soil and that's the best I can do. I can, uh, until I go do a full repot, I can't lower the trees or anything like that. So I'll just try and fit the tree the best I can in the pot, make it look really comfortable in there. I think from the front view, the tree is positioned nicely in the pot. I think it looks really good in that position. So. Yeah, that's on the bottom of the pot. I can't get it any lower. So my next step, I'm going to fill all the spaces around the pot here, between the tree and the pot, with new bonsai soil. All right, here I go. It's looking better already. Better give it a good watering now. Get all the soil settled in, get water to those roots. You can see I've got a bit of a step in the landscaping, but that's because this moss is really high. So I think I can do a lot of, you know, terrain work to get all this to look good. Picking out some weeds. Yeah, so I better get it all watered. Keep the trees happy. I'm surprised uh, this pot isn't a whole lot bigger than the mica one. It's, it looks huge when you compare the two side by side, but uh, 
yeah, there's not, you know, there's a bit of space at the front of the tree and at the back, but the, at the sides there's very, very little, maybe, you know, a couple of centimeters. All right, let's get it watered. All right, here I go with the water. Here's a close-up look at the soil. So here's my soil level at the pot. And then I got all this fluffy moss up here, which I've got to prune back. It's way too thick. You can see it's just huge clumps like that. So, yeah. So you can see the soil level is very close to the, the new soil level here. This is just all thick, thick moss. Which, you know, looks kind of cool as bushes, but it's way too thick to make this planting look miniature. So most of this moss is going to come out. You can see there's some really nice moss in here that's fine moss and not very high, but I think, you know, a complete moss makeover for this tree is in order. And we haven't had rain in I think it's rained like three times this summer and when it does rain it's very little it's for like at the most half an hour and I've never I filled my cube up once in spring early spring and since then I've just been getting dribbles it's never filled up today we were supposed to get rain at two o'clock today and it's got to be about that time now there are a few gray clouds over there but it's not looking like it's going to rain I think it's just going to pass over but we'll see so I think you know I've got to strip a lot of this moss off is what I'm saying it's just too thick now I could leave some as moss bushes but I think you know around the trees and that I've got to reduce the moss back and you know it'll grow in again especially if I put this in the greenhouse moss just loves growing in that greenhouse I can put it on the floor Maybe some of the clumps of moss I pull out of here, like these ones, I can plant, you know, out front. And then give it a haircut to prune it back to size and hopefully and it'll grow. Kind of making that transition. I don't have, the sidewalk of plenty has no moss on it at all this year. It's been too dry. This has been the, one of the driest summers I can remember. Here's a look at the forest floor now. So I'm starting to get some moss out front, pulling it from the interior and spaces. Yeah, it's looking quite nice, quite natural. I think the pot is a good thickness or a good height for the trunk size. It matches it quite nicely. Yeah, it's pretty good looking planting. I've got to taper my edges down here a bit. You know, it's kind of high in the middle, which is fine, but I've got to taper this down at the edges here. It's just too too heavy and I'll, I'll do that way by pulling the moss away. Whoa, there's a big sheet of moss. You see there's a lot of roots that have grown into the moss. So there's no problem you know exposing those. They'll just die off. Maybe it'll grow more into the soil level. Or the ones in the soil level will stay healthy and alive. I'll trim the moss around the lip of the pot now with these curved scissors. My next step is to come in here and start pruning the moss up, kind of uh, shortening it in places. And I, I might put a bit of sand down around the base of the trees just to give, you know, a more realistic landscape to this forest. Prune away the moss from around the trees too. Well, the rain looks like it's coming now. It's about an hour late, but it's definitely clouding over beginning to rain. I think what I'm going to do is go inside, make lunch, then I'll come back out and hopefully the rain has stopped. 
I am back from lunch, so I'll keep working away at the landscape, pruning the moss and, yeah, refining it. Okay, I think the landscape is looking quite nice. I'll give you a view of it. Here's a look at the landscape. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's looking pretty good. It's cleared out a lot. So next, I'm going to start the pruning of the trees. Many of the trees in this landscape have branches that come right down to the ground, and I like that. I think it looks very realistic, very reminiscent of any cedar forest I've been in. So I'm going to keep all those low branches on the trees, but I am going to start pruning the heights of the trees, giving each tree its, a, a bit of space to itself. I'll start out front here with this tree. So up here it has three kind of apex I don't want that many. Uh, it is kind of hiding a nice branch behind here. So I think, you know, this one is the most upright one. So I could prune these ones off. I have some small shoots way back here. So I'll just prune it off right to here. Big cut. Like that. On this other branch off to this side, I can prune that shorter. There's healthy foliage all the way down. I could even prune it right off. I've got, if you see, there's my branch. I've got two little branches at the base, or I can come up to here where there's some branches at the tip of this branch. And this is a vertical branch that's grown up. So I'll take that off first. Like that. You can see how much that shortened it. I could take it right back to these new tiny shoots back here. And I think I probably should. This branch is kind of getting thick. So if I can replace it with thinner branches, it's all the better. So here I go. So that's taken off. So I just have these little shoots back here. I can pinch the tips of these. Reducing them back a bit. Now, coming down to this next branch, I've got it coming out, I've got it fanning out here. There's a strong, long leader here I can prune back. So I'll take it back to here, like that. This one, this frond, I can take back to here. Like that, this one back to here. This one back to here. That kind of gets my conical form a little better. Now up in the apex here, I have you know, a really heavy side branch here. And again, I have two little shoots. So I can take that vertical one right off. And I will, like that. And then this leader, I've got a shoot here. I can take the tip off here, like that. That really gets that tree reduced back. Allows you to see into the forest a bit, and this will fill out again. So it's, you know, I'm pruning it back a little harder than I need to, or, you know, to get that a little harder than I would if I was putting this in a show or something at the present moment. So here again, I have another branch shooting up here. I'm going to take that part of it off, keeping this part of it. Reduce this branch back. Reduce this one back. Pinch the tip off here. Pinch the tip here. So you can see it's getting quite conical. There's a long one out the back here I can take off. Tip off here. And I'll pinch this one. Pinch that. And I think that's got that little tree all pruned up. So I'll do the same for all the other trees. You know, like this one reaching up. I've got to find a new leader, and I think that will be back here. So we'll take this part of it off. 
like that. Now you can see that leader still, you know, it's underneath this branch quite nicely. There's a big one coming forward here I can take back. One here. Getting these reduced down. So I'll keep working away at all my smaller trees in the forest, putting them back to a, you know, a more slender conical form. That'll open up a lot of space in the landscape down below for moss to grow and yeah, it'll get a lot of light in there. It has begun to rain once again. You can see the water spots on the table down here. I'll keep at it. Hopefully it won't pour on me. I have finished pruning the smaller trees around the main tree in the forest. So you can see the individual trunks now. They're very vertical. I left the ones around the back a little fuller to kind of draw, uh, kind of make a backdrop. So from the front, you can't really see through the forest too easily. It, it looks very dense and I like that look. I think it's like a wall of foliage at the back there. So my goal, I, I prune these trees back fairly hard so my goal is you let them grow in for the second half of summer and then by fall I shouldn't have to prune them for the show. They should just fill in, look very natural, very green and lush and it should look pretty good for the show. So the main you know, objective on these trees or the main thing I did was I pruned the height down so they weren't interfering with the branches of the main tree. So my next step is to prune up the main tree. Uh, just to bring it in more compact. There's a lot of branches here that I could cut back. And again, you know, it'll look a little sparse. But then, hopefully by fall, it'll have grown in and be looking really good. So I'm going to start on the main tree now. So the canopy is getting a little loose. There's a lot of shoots sticking up to prune back. So I'm going to start up top and work my way down. So I'll need to prune some of these shoots in the canopy back. Take out the central leader there. I think I'm getting fairly close on the pruning of the main tree. You can see it has a fairly nice silhouette, rounded canopy. I'm sure there's some refinement I can still do, but I think I'm getting close anyway. A little more uh, pinching in that to do on the tips. And there is a look at the cedar forest all pruned up ready to grow once again and hopefully it'll look good for the fall show. I did a lot of work to my cedar forest today, getting it in a new pot, pruning up all the trees. I'll let it grow now and hopefully it'll look really nice for the fall shows. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <music>